Fuck yeah! Give me the cybernetic brain! Gimme! Gimme the shiny! Yes! Also, I'm getting a whole lot of lag here. I'm not exactly certain why. I blame the repair bots, quite frankly. Hopefully I can just run upstairs and this fucking stops. Oh, look at us go. Majestic. Like the whale. Christ. I can't believe I got the cybernetic brain. This is the first time I've ever gotten it. Uh, you do not want the chimpanzee brain. And, like, the, the, the only reason you would get the abnormal brain is if you want to sabotage Skynet. And I'm not saying you shouldn't sca sabotage Skynet. But, you know. Yay, I can move normally again. Huzzah! Also, I blew up all the robots down there. Uh, and I do, in fact, have an 80% critical hit ratio. <laughs> Woo! Yo, Skynet, I got that thing you wanted. Somehow, Skyhound knew you retrieved the brain. Proceed to Robotics Lab Level 3. Install Cybernetic Brain. Activate Robot. Huh. Well, I suspect they knew that I got a brain. So that makes sense. Oh, there's another. Oh, is that? No, it's Dean's Electronics. Hey, Dean's Electronics. Anything in here? Fruit! Uh, systems check. Replace motivator. Refill biomed gel, organic storage device, not present. Okay. Wait, what the hell is this? Oh, biomed gel. Oh, it's just in there. Okay. Uh... Do not begin start sequence. Stop trying to begin start sequence. Okay, the biomed gel reservoirs are now full. Okay, good. I think one of the robo-brains upstairs might have a motivator in it. And I can use that. I can install that. And then I can put the brain in there. And then we'll all be good. And I'll have a, a, a mechanical robo-buddy. I wouldn't call Skynet a buddy. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, I forgot. The fucking repair bots. They repaired everything. Well, I gotta do something here that'll set off an alarm. What did I do last time? Can I break it out of diagnostic mode? I can't. Shit. Can I break any other computers? Oh, well, thanks. Shit. What is that? Shelves? Oh, this. Oh, what the fuck? There's just weird, very empty metal shelves. Okay. God damn it. There's a door that opens these things. Where is it? Or is it not on this side? Oh, okay. I, I have an idea. I'll just fuck with the retinal scanner without using the eyeball. There we go. There we go. Hey, everybody. What's up? Who wants a piece? Get some. Pachoo. Pachoo. There we go. We got there. We got there. Target acquired. Beep boop. I'm pretty sure these are the only robo brains up here.
Get down, maggot. Yeah, you see what I mean? Also, critical hits ignore armor. So just like, double damage ignores armor. It's it's a kill shot. Not always. Like some enemies have just too much health, but most enemies do not. And don't get me started on automatic weapons. Because burst fire, every shot counts as an attack. And every critical hit is a hit. And every bullet ignores armor. Do you understand now? Do you understand the stupidity that I am going to unleash? This poor robot. He's out of bullets. I just, what I need to do now is find a way to get more luck. I've heard I can get a Zeta scan in NCR, but I don't know what that means. Oh wow, I was hit for one point of damage and you almost killed your friend. Robo friend. Robo friends are not friends. Yoink. You know what, give me all these shotguns. It's a sh Shotgun based economy. Yoink. I wonder if I could just farm these enemies forever. Not that I would want to, I would actually like rather get like random encounters, quite frankly. But we got a motivator. One motivator? Shit, we got three motivators, man. How much do these things weigh? 14 pounds! Okay, that's fair. It moves robots. How light did you think it was going to be? What the fuck? What in the absolute fuck? What are we doing? Oh my god. Okay. Uh, looks like it can be repaired with the right parts. I've got the parts. I've got the. What do you want from me? Double motivator all the way across the sky. Uh, systems check. Replace motivator. Use motivator on robot. Use motivator on robot treads. Science robot? I ha I've got the fucking parts, dude. Trap the parts. No. Huh. Did I bring a tool with me? Not including myself? Don't answer that. Huh. It does not look particularly interesting. Cannot repair that. Do I have to put the brain in first? Looks like it can be repaired with the right parts. Well, fuck it. I'm gonna make the robot go and see what happens. Maybe I just have to repair it afterward. Failsafe overridden. Newton is now running. Okay. I guess that doesn't work. Maybe I have to talk to Skynet about it and be like, oh, where do I get a replacement motor? And it'll be like, kill the robots upstairs. And I'll be like, bitch, I already did. No program files present. Please reboot. Huh. Well, that's weird. I've got, I've got the fuck, I've got the motor. I've got, I've got the thingy. I got that thing you wanted. That does nothing.
All right, I just, I'm gonna go figure this out. I'll be back in a second. Well, I tried everything. I tried using the motivator on the robot. I tried emptying a motivator into the robot. I tried repairing the robot. I tried sciencing the robot. I tried using the terminal. I brought in tools for the robot. I tried to do everything. Motivator is fucked up. Uh, uh, fuck it. Oh no, I blew up Skynet. Oh no, now he can't take over the planet. That sucks. Ugh, ugh, my condolences, Skynet. Mm, later, man. Yeah, so, well, I, I, I showed you what to do, but for whatever reason, I can't get it to work. So, sorry. No program files present. <laughs> sorry, Skynet has left the building. But, uh, yeah. Skynet uh, become, is basically a, a sniper if you give him the cybernetic brain. I think he can, uh, no, he can always repair himself, but um, out of combat. But the cybernetic brain makes him work the best. And, you know, if you complete the game with him still alive, he just leaves. Like, that's, that's his story. He's just like, oh, huh, this is weird. Uh, I gotta go figure out more about AI and how to make myself tick. And he just leaves. Fuck. That was annoying. If you feel let down, imagine how I feel. I wanted my robo buddy. He's not a buddy. But hey, I can finally take this fucking eyeball out of my inventory. Wait, no I can't, because it's in my U slot. Fuck. Alrighty then. Let's take care of just a few more things before we barrel towards the end of the game. Such as the toxic caves. Remember the toxic caves? There was that generator we couldn't fix. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna fix it now. I'll just take the sniper rifle. I'm the sniper of Pearl Harbor. Also, power armor, obviously, it protects you from the green goo. Goop? Don't care. Hey, Golden Gecko, do you remember when I was afraid of you? No longer. There we go. Just gonna, you know, run over here. If I run into anything, uh, it's none of my business. I don't care. If I run into a gecko, I will shoot it. Which path did you take? Ugh. Drexet, you maniac. All right. Fix generator. Use computer. Fail to learn anything. Okay. God damn it. Wait. Which one's lockpick? Fuck, I can't even remember. Lockpick. Ah, right, and this is what we need the electric lockpick for. Boom, got it. Take me down to the secret place. Oh, holy shit. Let me guess, I put my weapons away, didn't I? You ever make a mistake? Oh, I did. I did put my weapons away. Nope. Gonna need, gonna need the good accuracy here. Lower torso. Fuck! Are you kidding me? Oh, I get more attacks. Yay! That's not what I wanted to hit. Eh, whatever. <laughs> That's it. Like I only have to hit it once or twice, and so long as I don't get hit with a with a crit rocket, I'll be fine. I feel sorry for the poor bastard who like rushed repair and found the electric lock pick and they're like, aha! I found my way into the basement of the the, the cave. Aha, the loot is mine, and got fucking blown up by a rocket. Poor bastard.
Is there no nothing in these rooms? Oh, there's a there's a desk. What's in the desk? Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Okay, so the shelves are empty. But we got some lockers. Oh, we have a lot more lockers than I thought. Okay, let me check the lockers. We got drugs. We got ammo, including that special ammo type that I didn't have a lot of for that weird pulse pistol. We got more ammo. We got even more small energy cells and some energy weapons. And we got combat armor and the Bozar. The ultimate... God damn it. Whatever, can I pick it up? Thank you. The ultimate re refinement of the sniper's art. Although somewhat finicky and prone to jamming, if not kept scrupulously clean, the big, the we big weapon's accuracy more than makes up for its extra maintenance requirement. Oh, really? I didn't know it was a sniper rifle. I thought it was a machine gun. Oh, holy shit. Oh, its range is actually less, but it has 30 bullets in the chamber. Um, oh, and it has a burst fire option. It only has a burst fire option? Oh my god! You ever feel like... You ever feel like you gone a little overboard? You know what I mean? Just like, you went, you just went a little too far. I do believe we've gone too far. Show me. Show me what this thing can do. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, wait. Is this thing considered a big gun? Oh, shit. I think it's considered a big gun. Oh, no. I mean, that's okay. Okay, so it's not considered a sniper class weapon, it's considered a big gun. Unfortunate. But if we were a big gun gal, well, we would know what we wanted. And I mean, you can always give it to Marcus. He can use it. He will kill your entire team. <laughs> they will all die. Um, okay. But enough fucking around. Unfortunately, uh, the time to, the time for fucking around has come to an end. All good times has come to an end. There there ain't much left to do except investigate San Francisco and do some of the final quests of the game. Adieu, auf Wiedersehen. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Christ, is most of, most of my inventory weight is in fucking uh, bullets, criminy. All right, see you guys next time.